Hello everyone, this is me Arijit back with a new video and it is again a Raspberry Pi video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can control your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world. So in my channel I already have made videos like this where I have shown you how you can control your Raspberry Pi like you can access the screen of your Raspberry Pi, control it through screen as well as you can control it through SSH anywhere in the world so basically uh, your raspberry pi in a different network you are in a different network through your like you through your laptop or mobile and you are controlling your raspberry pi so i already have shown this but i have in that case i have used some external tools but in this video i'm going to show you how you can do it with the official tool of raspberry pi so raspberry pi have recently launched a tool called rpi connect so they have just launched one month back and using this official tool from them and using this tool you can control your raspberry pi from anywhere in the world you can access the screen you can control it through ssh and you can control as many as RP rpis you are having so if you have 10 rpis you can connect 10 of them okay so this is a complete web so and also another thing that you don't need any kind of software to be installed in your laptop or something like anywhere it's a complete web based tool you just have to open a browser log into account and then you are going to get the screen as well as the ssh in the web itself and you can control your raspberry pi from there so this thing we are going to cover in this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe because in future we are going to make more exciting contents with raspberry pi so please hit the like so please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and now let's get started Okay guys, so I'm already inside my Raspberry Pi and I'm using VNC Viewer uh, for this but you can also directly connect to HDMI cable and just use your keyboard mouse to do this. Uh, so the very first thing we need to do is so before I start anything so uh, one thing is I'm using the latest Raspberry Pi OS which is Bookworm and you please use the latest OS. Okay, uh, don't use any previous version because in previous version it may not work properly. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to do a sudo update. So I'll just sudo apt uh, get just give me a moment sudo apt get update. So update we have to do very first thing we have to do once update is done. Next thing I'll do is sudo apt get rpi connect. So oh sorry sudo apt get install sudo apt get install rpi connect and it will take few seconds to install this thing so now the installation is done and now you are we are ready to actually use this service so as you can see here you will see icon like this you just click on this it says raspberry pi connect you just do have to sign in now and it's a web-based platform uh, you need the account so you need a raspberry pi id now creating a Raspberry Pi is very simple. You just need to go to this page. You have to give your email, uh, any password, and then uh, what you should be called, and that's it. Your mail will be sent to your email for a verification. And uh, once you do the verification, you are good to go. So now I'll just sign into my Raspberry Pi ID. I already have created one. So I'll just put my mail, I'll put my password, and that's it. So name your new device so it's showing so this is going to be the name of the device of this device this raspberry pi so i'll just call it rpi uh, demo and just create device so now this device is ready now you can just go to view your dashboard and as you can see rpi demo it's showing here okay so that means this device has been added in my rpi account now i'm not going to do anything else from the raspberry pi now our job with raspberry pi is completely done now what we really need to do is we really need to connect to this raspberry pi from our macbook so in my case macbook in your case your computer or something we are going to connect to raspberry pi and going to control it from there and I'll show you how you can do it so in raspberry pi only install the software go here sign in create the device so just give a device name that's it we are done and also another thing i'll show you that this device has been connected in my sparkless 2g this wi-fi okay so now what i'll do i'll just get outside of it now i'm going to use my phone's hotspot so that uh, it will be in a different network i don't want to show you in the same network so what i'm going to do is i'll go to my laptop macbook here i'm going to connect to a rigid's iphone so now my raspberry pi and my this uh, macbook are in different networks so now if I want, I cannot VNC into it. As you can see, I cannot access my Raspberry Pi because VNC currently like it works in uh, local area network LAN. So I cannot control it anymore. 
So I'll just close it. I'll go to my browser and I'll go to RP. I'll just do RPI Connect. I'll search for it, RPI Connect. This is the official page of it. I'll just go into this page. Let's just wait for it. Now I'll do sign in. Okay, now I'll sign with Raspberry. So as you can see, it's already showing me sign in as ready. So I'll just sign in. As you can see now, here you can see RPI demo. Okay. Now what we really need to do is we just have to, uh, as you can see, if you just click on connect here, there are two things, rem screen sharing, remote share. Remote share basically means SSH and uh, here screen sharing basically means you are going to get the screen. So it's like VNC. So first I'll show you the remote sh shell because uh, this remote shell, it does not require a lot of internet and it works really well. Okay. Screen sharing also works well, but sometimes it's really laggy, but uh, this SSH thing really works really well. So I'll just show you. It will take, oh, in the meantime, I'll explain you how it basically works. So it is like, uh, once you install it and you just log into it, uh, what really happens is it basically uh, between you this web browser. So I'm controlling uh, your my Raspberry Pi from the web browser. So from between my web browser and the Raspberry Pi, there will be a peer to peer network connection and it is basically using web RTC protocol. Okay. Now using this, it's basically uh, doing a bridge between my browser and Raspberry Pi for the very first time when the connection is being established the request so the request my this web browser is sending to my Raspberry Pi that actually goes to RPI server so through Raspberry Pi server so they have a server set up somewhere through that server my request is going to go there and once the established the connection get established then no data goes through the Raspberry Pi server so it's basically a direct connection okay between this browser and my Raspberry Pi so now we are inside our Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I can do any command. I can go to my desktop. I can look into things. I can do a sudo uh, apt get update and it's quite like it's super fast. Okay, there is no lag in this uh, remote shell thing. So I'm com completely controlling my Raspberry Pi over internet. Now we are going to do, so I'll just click here, just close it here. Now I'm going to do the screen sharing stuff. So I'll just click on it. The screen sharing, it to the connection get established it takes a little bit time so let's just wait for it as you can see we already got it and here is my raspberry pi now obviously it's not going to be as smooth as the vnc is it's over the network and it's complete screen sharing so it's not going to be that smooth but still it's not as like a laggy also like here as you can see sometimes it gets some time to get connection and sometimes it becomes laggy so in that case you close the window again open it and it will just work fine. So as you can see here also, uh, I can just do whatever I want here. Like I can open a browser. So now inside my browser, there is a Raspberry Pi and inside that there is another browser. And as you can see, all the things are working just fine. And, uh, and if you see that the router, it is connected to Sparkless 2G. Okay. But uh, my this laptop, it's been connected in uh, my iPhone. So basically now the Raspberry Pi and I am in different networks and I'm just controlling it through VNC, like through this screen sharing or through the SSH and it's working just great. And the great part is like for this, you don't need to pay anything. There is nothing uh, like a limitation or anything. And so here you can simply just do disconnect and uh, you can add as many devices as you want. Okay. So you just have to do, you just have to do that step, install Raspberry Pi, RPI connect, login, create device, that's it. So this is how actually you can connect to Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world using RPI Connect, okay? Okay guys, so this is how you can control your Raspberry Pi with RPI Connect. I hope you have learned something from this video and in that case, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So in future, you will get the updates about our channel and new content. So that's all about this video and I'm going to see you in the very next video.